Horizon Manila is a 419-hectare reclamation project, consisting of three islands that will include industrial and commercial projects, as well as public housing projects for the residents of the city of Manila. It has been described as one of the biggest reclamation projects in Manila Bay. The city built on scratch is mapped into three islands, arranged east to west with long faces along the north-south axis, with a four-kilometer long canal park, as the main connecting feature in between the isles. The canal park, not only connects the three islands but also provides Horizon with a public park at its core that stretches all the way to the water's edge, ensuring that Manila Bay Sunset, will always belong to the public. This urban valley recalls the settlement of Manila along the Pasig River and bolsters the idea of Manila as a city by the river. A viaduct with a monorail system allows direct access from Manila to the islands. From the central station, the trackless electric tram system loop around the development, and no place on the island will be more than a five-minute walk away from a tram station. Meanwhile, buildings are designed to minimize heat, while the vertical massing creates clustered towers that keep certain areas shaded all day. There will be a wide array of facilities and amenities, to allow a diverse mix of entertainment for its residents, such as pop-up galleries, and a state-of-the-art basketball arena. A memorandum of understanding was signed between the City of Manila and the Philippine Reclamation Authority on June 2, 2017. The master plan for the project was designed by WTA Architecture Plus Design Studio, a local Filipino architecture and design firm. The project was approved by the Philippine Reclamation Authority in 2019. The master plan calls for the creation of 28 distinct communities for 100,000 residents, which will be situated on three islands bisected by a four-kilometer long canal park. A total of 83 hectares will be allotted for open green space, which will occupy a fifth of the project's total area and each district is planned to have its own development guidelines. The Indonesian government plans to transform 256,000 hectares of inland forest, almost three times the size of New York City, into the country's new administrative headquarters. As communicated by President Joko Widodo, Indonesia will continue its plan to build a new capital city despite the economic pressure due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, and the war between Russia and Ukraine. Translated as New Capital City, the stunning renderings of the new city were inspired by the Indonesian archipelago, which features the Indonesian Presidential Palace, and the Unity in Diversity Plaza. The design places the Presidential Palace, the new Parliament, and Judiciary complexes in the north. A business district in the center. And housing in the south. It will also have an artificial lake, surrounded by monuments, a religious center, and a plaza. The inspiration for the new city was filled with electric vehicles, modern monorails, and drone taxis. These make it a new smart city, with the newest technology, and a clean city featuring a lot of artificial intelligence. It was intentionally made it a compact city design, so places will be close to one another. It aims for 50 minutes walk, from one end to the other end. The project is an ultimate exercise in transformative planning and design. The mammoth task is matched by monumental ambitions. Creating this city is more than a civil infrastructure megaproject, it is a rewrite of the national narrative in built form. The Passe Reclamation Development Project in Manila Bay is a new and modern commercial and residential property development to be run by SM Prime Holding Inc. The project involves the reclamation of approximately 726 hectares through the construction of three artificial islands according to international standards to ensure a safe living environment. The islands have been designed to withstand potential large earthquakes. In addition, shore protection works are designed to withstand typhoons. In response to fast-growing cities, and a rapidly modernizing economy. Designed by local and international planners, and engineers. It will provide a new home for 576,000 residents, 924,000 jobs, and 851,000 tourists per year. The reclamation will play an important role in the growth of the region, and in Philippine cities. It's a new dawn for the Philippines. A truly global city.
The city of the future. A sustainable city to live, work, learn, and play. A green inclusive city with open spaces. Putting the Philippines at par with Hong Kong, Singapore, and Sydney. With a world-class transportation network. And a CBD with fast connectivity to the airport and to the metro. The project is truly a milestone. A unique model of collaborative development. Aiming towards greater competitiveness and providing greater opportunities for the people. For the reclamation activities, Boscalus will deploy a number of trailing suction hopper dredgers, over a period of two years including its mega hopper dredgers. The entire reclamation area will be compacted with vibro and dynamic compaction, to ensure soil stability. The outer perimeter of the islands, will be protected with a combination of rock revetment and a concrete wave wall. Preparatory work is scheduled to commence immediately, and work on site is expected to start within the first quarter of 2020. The reclamation activities are expected to be completed within three years, and the total project duration including land development is five years. Empire City is a major property development in Ho Chi Minh City. Situated on the central peninsula of the Saigon River, the project fuses the natural landscape with the rapidly growing metropolis. The future central business district of Ho Chi Minh City is located on a prime 14.6 hectare waterfront site in the two-theme new urban area. The two-theme new urban area is planned to be developed into the largest economic, commercial and financial center of Ho Chi Minh City, offering cultural, entertainment, and recreational activities. Empire City is a spectacular ensemble of high-rise towers and public spaces, with integrated environment that fuses the natural landscape with the rapidly growing metropolis. It is set to become a new focal point of Ho Chi Minh City, sculpting a symbiotic vision of nature and living within the space of the city. Three skyscrapers will soar above a mountain-shaped, garden-like podium, with the central Empire 88 tower reaching a height of 333 meters. Its 88 floors will encompass residences, apartments, a hotel, and a public observation deck. Breaking open the shaft of the tower and projecting vertical gardens at towering heights, the expressively undulating platforms of the sky forest will elevate the podium's urban landscape into the sky. Hovering terraces will cantilever in manifold directions around the tower's central axis, reaching out into the urban context and the peninsula's natural surroundings as a gesture of reconciliation between the city and the countryside. The Empire 88 Tower has the potential to become an iconic symbol of the city, and something that people travel to especially to visit. If these sky pods go viral like the Golden Bridge in Da Nang it would be a great boost for tourism in Ho Chi Minh City. The sky forest, with its alluring interplay of interior and exterior, will create a magical journey through Vietnam's tropical landscape. Upon completion, the development will comprise about 3,000 premium residential apartments, office and retail properties as well as an 86-story integrated mixed-use tower complex, bringing the best in waterfront and urban lifestyles to Ho Chi Minh City. One Bangkok is a new global landmark destination. A fully integrated district in the heart of Bangkok. The new landmark will enhance the country's stature on the world stage. One Bangkok will add the existing vibrant lifestyle district in the region. One Bangkok sets new standards in terms of design, quality, connectivity, and sustainability to be the most prestigious corporate address in the city. A vibrant lifestyle destination, it combines hospitality, retail, art and cultural experiences, together with the city's finest residences. One Bangkok incorporates the unique essence of Thailand and Bangkok's rich history, combining a deep understanding of local, social, and cultural context with new experiences of urban living. One Bangkok is built on people-centric principles. 
It is designed around how people can seamlessly live, work, and play. Seeking to reinstate a sense of human scale, in such a way that enhances the comfort and convenience in people's daily life. One of the highlights of the new development is one Bangkok 04H4 Signature Tower, which will become Thailand's tallest skyscraper. Standing up to 436 meters high, with 92 floors. It will dominate the skyline of metropolitan Bangkok. One Bangkok's crowning achievements is its 436-meter signature tower, housing office spaces with grade E offices, the hub for arts and cultural activities, and a super luxury hotel. Set to become one of Southeast Asia's 10 tallest buildings, it will offer visitors panoramic views of Bangkok's skyline. Designed from the ground up to be green, smart, and safe, with ample active public spaces and an informal network of pedestrian-friendly circulation recalling the urban topologies of old Bangkok. One Bangkok will be accessible, inclusive, and inspire new forms of public participation, a dynamic reflection of the city's bright and bold future. One Bangkok offers a clean, green, and safe environment for all visitors and residents spending time in the district. A generous 50 rye of the total 104 rye land plot, is allocated to green and open space, including a 10,000 square meter landscape civic plaza at the heart of the development that will be a natural venue for international events and Thai festivals, a place for all to enjoy. KL Metropolis is a 75.5 acre mixed development that is envisioned to be, the International Trade and Exhibition District for Kuala Lumpur. It aims to integrate trade, commerce, living, and transport, in one bustling hub. The best of human ingenuity has come together to create a modern, inclusive and sustainable ecosystem. A new generation of buildings, with sustainable architecture, and energy-efficient engineering design, to improve living quality. It aims to be among the most sustainable city communities in the country, with Malaysia's Green Building Index and LEED certification. KL Metropolis is built on four key concepts. Create a dedicated hub to enhance the country's position as the preferred business tourism destination in the region. Create a conducive environment where local and foreign businesses connect to shape collaborations and partnerships. Build a world-class environment for working, living and businesses. Create a sustainable development through environmental efficiency and pedestrian transit connectivity. Built around the meetings, incentives, conventions and exhibitions, KL Metropolis is poised to boost business tourism and spearhead a fresh effort to turn Malaysia into a preferred international convention destination. The first component is the Malaysia International Trade and Exhibition Center MITEC, which opened in 2017. MITEC, Malaysia's largest exhibition center, plays host to numerous upscale international events and concerts. The 1.5 million square feet built-up space is able to host a maximum of 48,000 visitors at one given time.